This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be making a lovely wine basket. In order to assemble this basket, you're going to need cellophane. And this cellophane is actually 40 inches uh, by 100 feet. So it's a lot, although we're not going to use all of it, but that 40 inch width is very important because the basket is very large. Because this is a larger basket, we're going to need lots of shred. So I've got this shred almost in a brown color, kind of a paper bag colored shred. Um, so this is going to go with our colors that we're trying to use to enhance our basket. The ribbon that we're going to use today, I think I'm going to go with this color right here. We'll see what happens at the end, but I like this kind of a uh, gold-like color. It's all going to blend in with the bow that I've chosen. Here's the ribbon I've chosen for this particular basket. It's a wine basket. So to me, wine means elegance. So I chose this particular one, uh, ribbon because it's a wired ribbon and I like the colors. It's kind of like an earth tone with greens and just a little bit of gold interwoven on there too and some beige as well. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's a beautiful ribbon. So that's going to be different. We'll see how that turns out. This is the other ribbon that we're going to use. Um, it's a little bit more silkier, still uh, a wired ribbon, but I like the colors still going along with the wine theme. So we're gonna do a, bow, a double bow today. We're going to use these embellishments. I thought grapes would be nice uh, to drape from the bow. So I'm going to show you how to do this. This is a nice way to enhance your basket, especially if you're doing something like a wine basket. So stay tuned so you'll see what these look like. I think you're going to really like the outcome on this one. More embellishments include something, some kind of greenery. I thought that would be nice for the basket, especially since we're doing something like a vineyard wine. Goes along with that same theme. So we're going to use this to decorate our basket on the inside and maybe on the outside. I'm not sure yet. You're also going to need, of course, some tape. And I usually use more like a packaging tape. Um, and that tapes the bottom part of the basket and holds it together nicely. I'm going to use what's called glue dots, and I hadn't uh, really talked about this in the other videos, but this is something that stops your products from kind of shifting in the basket. So I'll be using some of these throughout while I'm assembling the basket. And just to give you a closer look of what they look like, just little glue dots, and they help stick your products. To the basket so I'll show you how we're going to use those and of course the ultimate tool scissors now this is probably one of the larger baskets um, that we're going to be using here if you look at it it's pretty deep inside it's got this lovely handle across the top and I like the way the wood looks I like the color of the basket so it's all going to kind of blend in, thinking wine and vineyard. And this is why we use, for a basket this size, you can't use the 30 inch cellophane. You, you have to use a 40 inch in order to get everything wrapped up when we come over the top with our basket. So that's the reason why I'm using this longer one. You can do a 30 inch. Um, on the smaller baskets, but when you're going large, you need to use larger cellophane, and this is a 40 inch. Okay, because we're doing a wine basket, everything that ties into this basket is surrounding these two bottles of wine. 
I did not buy this wine. Uh, someone brought this to me and said, asked if I could assemble the basket for them. So most of the products that are going into this basket have been actually bought so that I can go ahead and assemble it. So this is actually a very easy gift basket for me because someone already went out and got all the stuff. So let's see what things we have to put in that basket. We've got two bottles of wine. We've got what's called a kind of a wine freezer. It's a cute little bag. And I thought it was the cutest thing um, where you can just put your wine inside of this. You can freeze the bag and put your wine inside of it. We've got wine inspired um, paper, uh, towel. We've got tiny little mini tasting forks, which I thought was really nice, elegant, especially if you're going on a picnic or something, uh, along with some jalapeno cheese blend and some sliced salami, nice additions to the basket. Of course, what would your basket be without crackers? Over here, we've got an electric wine opener. So this person really wants uh, this basket to be uh, very nice and elegant. We've got some wine glasses to put in our basket. What else we have here, we've got Kind of a decoration, decorative vinegar bottle. So we'll get that in there too. A cutting board for the cheese. We've got what's called a foil cutter. That's for the wine. And we've got this cute little placemat uh, that matches the towel. So that's also wine inspired. A wine and dine freehand party plate. Some chocolates, which would be nice also to put in the basket. And a magazine called Wine Spectator. So um, this uh, particular woman knew exactly what she wanted to go in her basket and I'm going to get all of this, these items, into this one basket. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, first wrap up this uh, Wine Spectator magazine. And I think I want the word wine to be on the outside. So what I'm going to do is just gently kind of fold this like that. And I want wine to be facing out like this. That way this magazine can actually stand up in the basket and take up less space. Okay, we're gonna start putting our basket together. And of course I'm gonna use lots of shred in this one. So just along the bottom. Not too much because I've got items that have height on it already. So the key here is to assemble the basket in a way that uh, most of the items on this one will be sticking out of the top. So I don't have to use my shred sparingly. I could use lots of shred on this one. And I may have to shift it again somewhere else, but I'm gonna put this in the corner here. And then I'm going to take the wine glasses and put them right in this area right here. And I still might have to go ahead and shift things accordingly, but that's okay. My 
bottles of wine here. And I'm trying to keep glass away from glass. Let's see. Go ahead and put the cutting board. I'm going to slip it right in here in the middle. Magazine, put that right there, and I, because I want wine, the word wine to actually be right in the front, I'm going to just turn it just a little bit. Because that's going to be, you'll be able to see that from the outside of the basket. Okay, we still got some other things to put in here going to take the wine and dine party plate and put that right up front here on the side because I can slip that in there. So you just have to pick and choose what you want to be shown around the outside of your basket. And I may still have to shift things a little bit. Turn this right there. I'm going to slip my salami right there and let's see if this will work. Put my cheese right in there. Okay, we're almost there. Still got a few more things to get in the basket. This is cute because it does fold up. And sometimes you have to shift a couple of times uh, to see exactly where you want certain things to go. And we'll let that stay like that for a moment. And for here, we've got this, this is real cute, Let's leave it right here for now. That could actually fit right down in the basket. And it's okay if it leans up on the side, we'll see what happens with that. And of course we have this, can't forget that. I was just going to drape this over the front, so I'm going to make sure it's real neat. like the colors in it because it goes with the basket. Set that right there and have that drape across the front. And we've got some chocolates. All right, and we still got a few more items that we need to put in here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn that upside down and just slip it right in here. Just slipping that right in there and that won't shift. Got these cute little forks. Come around the side here with these. Okay, and we got this lovely item to put in here as well. Let's see, how do I want that to go in there? I want to keep the glass. I like the way this looks, so I just gently fold it up like that. Glass is right there. And let's see where I want this to be. This is the most challenging part of getting your basket together, is where to put everything. Looks like that will be able to slip in there. So let me take this. Okay, I took out this wine cooler and I'm just going to slip that in there.
And sometimes you just have to readjust until it, everything fits the way you want it. And once I wrap this up, everything will start to kind of go right into place. Keep that there. I'm actually going to keep this right along here. So see, I just readjusted and this will work. Put my little forks right in here. Okay, that actually fits even better. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a little bit more shred around the sides. A little bit more color. Not too much because it already has enough stuff um, in this basket. So I don't have to do as much, but I want everything to be nice and tight. So I'm almost done. I'm going to put shred on the other side. So now I'm going to add some greenery to the basket and I'm just going to come along throughout this. I like the, the this particular greenery because I can actually bend it and twist it the way I want. And I thought it would add a nice little added extra to this basket. So you just assemble it the way you want. Have fun with it. I'm definitely having fun with this basket. And you see how it twists up? So I could basically drape it along anything that I want. If I want to go up above the handle here, I can drape it along the handle, which is real nice. So we got a little bit of greenery going on there. Get some on the other side. Just adding the little extras to your basket to make it different. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it's just something that I think takes the basket to the next level. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the dots and stick them in just certain areas um, strategically. Just right between this wine bottle and the crackers and stick that right there. So you see that helps your item stop shifting. Okay. Over here, where we have the electric wine opener, and we've also got that little decorative fixture, vinegar bottle, and just sticking right there, and that's securing that right there. It just stops everything from shifting. Okay, now just taking a look at my basket to see if it's the way I want it. I'm okay with this flapping open because once I start putting the cellophane on it, everything's going to pull together. Okay, now with this cellophane, I am making sure I've got more than enough to wrap up this basket. I'm not trying to use just a small amount. Even if I'm over, that's okay. But because I because this is a larger basket, I want to make sure I have enough. Let's see how that goes. I want to make sure that I have enough over the top. That's still not enough, so I need to readjust. I want it to become about this high over the top for right now for this basket. I could always cut it down. So I will not cut the cellophane until I'm sure how much I want to use.
That is perfect. So this is what I'm measuring with. I'm pulling up this part up to the top to measure back to front. And that's high enough above the basket for when I start wrapping it up with the ribbon. So I'm good. So I'll just let that piece lay like this for a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and cut the cellophane. And you've seen me do this in other videos. But I'm going to just go ahead and do it again. Many of you have asked me not to cut my video short, which I'm quite flattered. Just got to be careful with this cellophane because it, because it, it rips pretty easily. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring this cellophane over the top. And we're going to gather this up tightly and gently kind of bring it up into the center. And take your time because this stuff rips. Once it starts to rip, it just keeps going. basket as the smaller baskets, only you're just using the same concept, it's only that it's larger, the basket is larger. So I want to leave enough open here so that I can just wrap these up on the side. So I want to make sure I have some open there, and then I have some of the cellophane open here, and then we're going to tuck that under. we got to get this the way we need it to be on the top. And I'm going to take my one piece of ribbon. Tying it over the top of the handle. And I'm just going to tie it one more time to secure it. Okay, and now we're going to start taping up the sides. And to take my basket up, I'm going to pull it to the edge of the table. And I'm just drawing this tightly. I want my ribbon to stay on top here and have it centered. And I'm just going to gather this up. I'll give this a little bit of twist since we have a lot of excess. Give it a cellophane a twist. And once I have it tight the way I want to, I'm just going to take that one piece of tape and tape underneath the basket. That's it. Now let's go to the other side. On this side, there's just a little bit of an opening, but that's okay. I'm just tucking everything in, bringing this down the side again, making sure everything is tight in there. And you'll hardly see that seam on the sides. I'm just tucking it under here just to hold it for a moment on the table. Okay, 
and that's all done. Okay, this I'm going to now go ahead and neaten up the basket so we can assemble the bow and wrap it up. I'm going to cut this down and you've seen me do this in other videos. That helps your, the top of your cellophane to kind of fan out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make the bow. Um, you can watch my other videos on how to make the bow using wired ribbon um, just by clicking right here. And so, let me go ahead and get started. Okay, now I'm going to take one of my embellishments, the grapes, and because we're sticking to the wine theme, I'm going to go ahead and drape this. See that there's a little hole there for attaching that. And I'm going to drape this to my bow. Pull it right up there, all the way to the top. to tie it on using the other bow. Okay. And I'm going to just tuck that in there a little bit. And once I'm happy with the way that looks, I'm going to bring my ribbon under the bottom, put it on the other side, and we're going to go ahead and attach the other bow. Now I'm getting ready to tie on the second bow and I'm going to add the embellishment a little bit later. As you can see I'm doing a double bow here and I'm using the same ribbon that I tied the other bow on with to tie this one on. So I'm just trying to get it on here and tie it up first and then I'll go back and clean it up. So now we have, oops, uh, I'm over here. So you see how large this basket is. Now we have our finished wine basket. Elegantly put together. Just gonna give it a spin here. Just so you can see. And it looks good. 
good from any angle. And there you have it, a beautiful and elegant wine basket. I hope this gave you an idea. You can make it small or large. But just remember, be creative.